Let's make an ice cube tray with molds shaped like jewels. With the polyline, sketch the jewel outline. You can type in numbers and angles, but I'm just eyeballing proportions. Now we need another shape and make its first click on the grid, not on the shape we just drew, so that they're not part of the same sketch. Then move the rectangle up. If they were on the same sketch plane, we wouldn't be able to do this. They would move together. Hold the shift key down to select both shapes and then loft. That's the shape of our ice mold. Now shell it out. Overtype the default number in the text field to make the shell a bit thicker. Now copy this with the pattern tool. Select the solid. Click on an edge, and then make as many rows and columns as you want. And click the check marks to delete the ones you don't want. Group them all together to make them easier to move. Now draw the tray. Push pull it up a bit, but not the whole height of the molds. That way the molds will protrude below the tray and then you don't use as much plastic when 3D printing it. Set it on orthographic to make aligning the tray with the top of the molds easier. The more you zoom in, the easier it is to align. Now move all the molds onto the tray. I'm going to push pull this side in a little bit. Check the appearance. It looks pretty good. Now use split solid to split the molds from the tray. First click on the tray, then hold the shift key down and select all the molds. And click off it to finish the operation. Hold shift key down again, select them all, and move them down. And you're left with the molds in the tray. Now we're not quite done. To make this 3D printable, we have to weld each mold to the tray with Combine Merge. And you can only do two at a time, so click on the tray, click on a mold, and then click on the sketch plane, and do that for each one. 